The United States Sub-Saharan African Trade Economic Cooperation Conference, commonly known as the African Growth and Opportunity Act Forum, is provided for under the AGOA legislation to allow government leaders, businesses, and civil society's participants to meet and deliberate on an annual basis on matters of interest to the U.S. and Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, AGOA uh, is our most significant uh, and important uh, trade uh, uh, policy uh, document. Uh, and uh, we hope uh, that by using this uh, forum uh, in Lusaka, we can help to uh, promote greater trade between the United States uh, and Africa. Uh, we believe uh, that uh, it is only through uh, investment, uh, trade, uh, economic activity uh, generated uh, by the private sector uh, that Africa will be able to realize its enormous uh, economic potential. Uh, we want to uh, be a part of Africa's uh, growth uh, and Africa's uh, ability to uh, realize that potential and we hope uh, that we can continue to work with uh, African countries to uh, utilize all uh, of the benefits uh, that exist uh, under uh, AGOA so that uh, they can become more significant and active partners uh, in trade with us, but also significant and active uh, trading partners in the global community. Since the enactment of the legislation in 2000, the United States has hosted the forum five times. Mauritius, Senegal, Ghana, and Kenya have also hosted the forum on the continent. In June 2011, Zambia will be the first country to host the forum in the Southern African region. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton will grace the occasion. We realized uh, here in the U.S. that simply opening our market for African products um, was not and is not sufficient. And so uh, through the years, uh, we have also provided technical assistance and trade capacity building support because it's one thing to open the door uh, to the U.S. market. Um, we're a huge market, a $14 trillion market, and still the largest single country market for Africa's products. And um, uh, we thought that uh, opening the door was not sufficient. We needed to be able to reach back through the door and help African entrepreneurs and businesses to actually be more competitive, to help them understand the U.S. market, bring them to some of the trade shows that we have here in the United States, show them where the niches are that they can be competitive in this huge market. And as a result, they are shipping now to us more uh, value-added food products, uh, pepper sauces and jellies and jams and juices. Um, they are shipping, as I said, uh, footwear, toys, sunglasses and other eyewear. And this is really the story of AGOA. The 2011 AGOA Forum will be held on the theme Enhanced Trade Through Increased Competitiveness, Value Addition and Deeper Regional Integration. Our ongoing work on the ground in Africa represents the Obama's administration's integrated approach to trade and development. MCC provides a significant asset in the U.S. partnership with Africa. Our institution's core mission is poverty reduction through economic growth, and that's at the core of the Obama administration's approach to trade and development. The way, this, uh, the way the MCC works in an integrated fashion with the State Department, with USTR, with OPIC, with Exim, and the other development partners is to provide um, significant investment in Africa. Over half of our 23 partner countries are African countries. Over two-thirds of our $8 billion of investment is in Africa. The AGOA Forum is the only annual U.S. ministerial with Sub-Saharan Africa. As such, it is an opportunity for the United States and African nations to have a dialogue on all the issues that contribute to long-term development and growth, including good governance and sound economic policies. Aaron Ocheng, Mark TV News.